I have come to you from some pretty abstract places, but this this is is up there. Um, this is the conclusion to the journey of the 458 Speciali. We are back in the UK, uh, and I am airside at Heathrow Airport. This today is like a two-part attack to some really cool content. On the one hand, I'm obviously bringing you guys. You're sharing it with your eyeballs firsthand here. Um, but we're also filming for a series in the UK called Heathrow, Britain's busiest airport. They have flatteringly asked if they could document the journey of the Speciali coming back to England with Emirates. We've gone and got ourselves airside. I can't begin to tell you the rigmarole and security and paperwork that it takes to get here. Uh, so you might see it on TV and take it for granted, but believe me to be here is a really special occasion. Uh, and as always, I'm super, super pumped to bring you along for the ride. So let me just show you where we are. Uh, I am currently airside uh, of uh, Heathrow Airport. The plane in a minute is going to dock right in front of us here. Uh, and then there's some special cargo, which I, sh I shall share with you shortly, coming off the plane first. And then the Speciality is coming and it's gonna land and we're gonna be reunited with the car, which has been in Dubai for about five weeks. Okay, so we've just been discussing which okay. direction of airspace we need to look to see the the, the airplane coming in right so, so the little orange plane there on flight radar yeah. is the triple seven freighter coming in and i expect it to be in the next probably four minutes coming from that direction over there it's so absurd 14 freighters yeah on a daily basis 14 freighters yeah on a daily basis. Okay. so this freighter comes in twice a week yeah so for me this is nuts this is like just mental so over there five minutes yeah well yeah, it's three minutes. Three so minutes? So we got three minutes and then you'll see the 777 on the horizon. Just ridiculous. Yeah, cool. Three minutes, plane landing, car landing, amazing. I can see a glimmer of a plane. I'm not sure. Is that it? There's no chance you guys can see this. Yeah, I don't know. Miles away. Yeah, no, it's coming on. Yeah, that's the one. Basically. That's the plane? Yeah, but it's coming on 27 right. So it's not gonna, it's not gonna land on this one, right? Yeah. Okay. It's gonna land though and it's gonna taxi across, right? Yeah, it's gonna taxi yeah. past us. It's gonna be, be sit there. But that's it. That's yeah. our plane. Yeah. With my car. this out also today I have these two wonderful people G4 following us around. G4H will be the yeah. I've got to go through some security first. Okay so this is only a cargo plane so there's no passengers as such. Uh, I've been told that the horses come off first which is crazy uh, and then the car comes off but I think we're allowed to go on the plane. Uh, the amount of security involved in this is crazy um, but we're allowed to go on the plane check out what's going on there and then hopefully we can see what's going on in the fuselage before everything comes off pretty nuts okay. all right first things first is horses so in that very container there is some very fancy race horses which is spectacular to think really that you can travel animals like that it's incredible i mean i was impressed with my uh, my car being here but to know that there's horses in there is something else and apparently they travel in a controlled climate environment they're always comfortable it's awesome on their way to the animal center be taken care of checked by the vet okay we're now going to go look at your car we're going to take the car right absolutely now. this it's is crazy all day long okay what you can't see right now is how freezing it is i can't wait to get inside that plane dude it's warmer <laughs> in the plane than what is it on the ground i hope so i hope so so after you onwards it's mad because this is pure cargo it's not really a passenger plane at all Yes, there is no anything. There is no place to sit but these, these guys here. Look at this. Let's sit in over there. There's the car! You can take a sneak peek. There's the car. This is so crazy. Okay, stepping in. Wow. 
This is a first. I've never what been in a think? pure yeah, cargo plane. Car, this is madness. Yeah. There it is. Wow. Oh, this is so I love easy. the wheels, dude. Look at this. The same time we have camera crew following us in. And this is the car surrounded by all sorts of other cargo. Wow, man, this is mad. Okay. There it is. So it is obviously under a cover. Just to see the paint again. Fantastic. There's one thing. The car looks so much better in Dubai because the light oh, was completely. amazing. Yeah, yeah. You know? oh, you can see it's cool. completely secure. It's yeah. locked down to the base of the floor. You've got all the straps locked down on the wheels. The car's not moving for anyone. So the car on its whole journey stays on this pallet, right? So this is called a, this is a 20 foot pallet. Uh -huh. The vehicle sits on top of the 20 foot pallet. It is lashed down with all the straps. It locks it into place. And then, you, then the pallet itself is then locked onto the base of the plane. It won't move at all. Wow. And so these pallets, I presume, they're sort of universal pallets. Like universal they pallets. They go across all airports. And then what we do is we will have we will have a load master that basically will check the weight and balance of the aircraft. It's super cool. And this will be probably one of the last pallets to come off the plane. But this is a 20 foot pallet. It's a big pallet. Oh yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh, dude, I, I love, love this color. attention to detail. Yeah, yeah, like completely. putting padding on the straps so that it doesn't scratch the wheels. Because, you know, no one sees this process. Okay. So to see all of this at first hand is, is, is really good. So we, really, have, really nice. we have specialists that basically will ensure the car's loaded correctly and you have all the, the lashing put on the wheels. You can see the protective covers to ensure you don't get any scratches on these Absolutely, beautiful wheels. Right? Exactly. That's awesome. But it's See a beautiful colour. Baby's back. Is it the right car? It's the right car. <laughs> Job done. Here we are, the car has finally arrived. This is uh, clearance. Basically all imports come through this area and get cleared, including cars. So weird to see it back. Um, it left NVM, so it's had the paint protection film put on the car. And I think just before it left, it had a clean. So under these spotlights, it looks really good. Hopefully our great British weather system will hold off uh, at least for the next few days. Uh, I'm gonna jump in this and drive it home shortly. But yeah, just to have it back here is so monumentally cool. Even though I spent the last three weeks basically with the car, it still feels really alien seeing it here because the environment it was in was so far removed from where it is now. This is cool, they put this like steering wheel shroud on it and a seat cover for if the car does need to get moved. So there's two types of transport methods, I believe, for different types of cars. So if the car can roll in neutral, AKA if it's a manual car and you, and you can push it, it gets to go on a, on a different kind of plane. And that's the, the kind of car that I believe you're able to fly with you uh, on the actual same plane. Whereas if it doesn't roll in neutral like this, because it's got a twin clutch a box, it then has to go on its own fixed pallet, which then has to go on a cargo plane. The memories, and now I'm stepping back in this thing, it even smells as it did in, in Dubai. It, it sort of generated its own character out there because it was in constant heat. I'm kind of a little bit sad actually that it's back here. Not that I don't love driving here, but every day you step out of the door in Dubai and it, the driving conditions are perfect everywhere. And they, you know, you've got two tracks on your doorstep. You've got the Dubai Autodrome and like an hour away, you've got Yaz Marina. That was one of the highlights of this trip was driving 
my own car on an international Formula One circuit and it's the last of the F1 calendar. So it's a super iconic track and to be able to drive this over there was incredible. So, gotta say a massive thank you to Emirates Sky Cargo. The logistics of this has been, as you've seen, incredible. Um, also, be sure to tune in. As you've seen today, we've been filming for Heathrow, Britain's busiest airport, and that'll be on soon. Uh, and stay tuned to my social media, because as soon as I know when that's going live, I'll be sure to put a link uh, in various posts, because uh, it'll be interesting to see the other side of this. But uh, yeah, special journey, special occasion. And of course, it is now perfectly protected in paint protection film by the guys from NVN in Dubai. So thanks very much, everyone. Right, I'm gonna hop in this and drive home. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I shall see you next time. Who knows where we'll be. Ciao.